Hi Deepika, how are you doing? Yes sir, I am good sir. Okay, quickly introduce about yourself. Uh, uh, good evening sir, I am Deepika. Currently I am staying in Hyderabad. I have completed my post graduation in IMSC Data Science from RBBR or Women's College. As part of academics, I have done a major project on traffic prediction for intelligent transport system using machine learning and minor project on uh, exploratory data analysis uh, on big my sales prediction. Uh, I have a basic knowledge on Python, HTML and SQL. Uh, I want to get into a job in a reputed company where I can utilize my skills and improve my career path. Okay, good. So, and this is a technical one for you. Yes. And you have specified expertise in Python development and Python libraries like Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, and Sci-Fi. Yes. Right. So, shall we go with this? Right. So, in a technical, okay, we'll start with the Python. So, and then what do you know about Python? Python, it is a computer based programming language. It is to build the websites and software. It is a uh, object oriented programming language. Okay. So, is it is uh, statically typed or dynamically typed? It is uh, dynamically. How you, uh, can you uh, say something about it? Uh, Python, it is uh, easy to read and write. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it is an interpreted language as compared to other languages like C, C++. Okay. And then, so there are so many inbuilt functions are there. Yes. So can you tell me the difference between map and filter? Uh, map function, it, pa uh, it passes through the elements, uh, 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 through the elements, uh, through a function and it returns, uh, it returns a result of all the elements and filter. Uh, filter first uh, uh, we want a function of all elements uh, and it returns uh, first we require the boolean uh, values like uh, true or false and then uh, it returns a function uh, of all the elements okay so what are the loops available in python uh, loops for loop and while loops sir. okay uh, for loop uh, it is used uh, already when we know the number of iterations and while loop, it is uh, used when we you know already a number of it iteration is unknown and it will uh, repeat it uh, until when the next iteration is known. Okay. So, and then, um, so what are the loop control statements in Python? Uh, in Python, there are uh, three uh, loop control statements. They are break, continue, and pass. Uh, break statement when we uh, run the program. Uh, when it uh, executes the program, uh, it stops uh, execution, uh, it brings the uh, control out of the loop. And the continue statement, uh, it is not uh, brings a uh, control statement out of the loop. And the uh, pass statement, it does not uh, stop and uh, uh, skip the program, it uh, passes uh, execution. Okay. Okay. And then, uh Already said uh, where to use uh, for loop, where to use while loop. Yes. Okay, it is good. And then, do you know functions in Python? Yes, uh, functions in uh, Python. There are a user defined function and built in function. Uh, user defined function, uh, we use the def function. Uh, when def we keyword. Def, def keyword when we write a program. And the built in function. Okay. So, what are um, parameters? Uh, parameters uh, uh, in Python in a function. In a function, uh, like uh, I don't know. Okay, okay, leave it. Okay, no problem. Leave it. Okay, Deepika, uh, do you know about uh, PIP in Python? Yes, uh, preferred installer program. Uh, in Python, we install and uninstall the uh, software. Uh, install and uninstall the third-party libraries. It is perfect, sir. Okay. And what is PEP? Uh, Python Enhancement Proposal. Uh, it is like a document uh, for a uh, particular function and features of a Python. Uh, PEP it is a style code to enhance the code. Okay. So, Python is a object oriented programming language, is it right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, we have some features of code, right? Yes, sir. So, one of that is data abstraction. Yes, sir. So, what is data abstraction? How we can achieve data abstraction in Python? Uh, data abstraction, uh, we, if we, we, we have all the elements, 
uh, it displays to the user only some and it displays uh, uh, and it does not display it will be having in data hiding it will hide some elements so it is uh, not showing unnecessary things to the user, user. Right. so only it, okay. it is data abstraction and then so what is in by inheritance uh, inheritance it acquired properties from one class to another class and it has a parent class uh, parent class uh, it is a class that in, uh, that inherited uh, from class it is called base and child class uh, child class it is inheritance from another class it is called uh, derived class okay okay right so we have a loops we have loops in python to iterate we will use for loop up why right. we have iterators also in python yes sir can you explain about uh, that? What are iterators? Uh, iterators, uh, iterators. Uh, it is a uh, iterator uh, object. Uh, the iterator it uh, initializes uh, by iterate method, uh, by iterate parenthesis method, uh, and it is a uh, object of a function. Okay. And then, do you know about uh, closures in Python? Uh, closures are the global values, uh, and it also hides some. Uh, hiding the data. Hiding the data. Uh, okay. Hiding so, the values. Okay. We have nested functions in Python. Yes. Yeah. So a function inside of a function is called as nested yeah. function. So how can we use uh, a nested function outside of the main function? Uh, uh, when we uh, we use nested function for some conditions. If for if else uh, nested. If no. What you said is closures. Yes, so sir. that will be done in the closures. Yes. Actually, the closure purpose is that one. Okay. We can use the nested function so outside of the main yes. function by declaring it as a closure. Yes, okay. By using closures. Okay. Okay. okay, and then uh, and then finally, what are the libraries do you know? Uh, NumPy, Pandas, okay. uh, Sci-Fi, Sci Sci Matplotlib. Matplotlib. So what is uh, NumPy is for? Uh, NumPy it is an array. Okay. Array of uh, pandas and uh, pandas it is uh, one uh, defined words uh, which we use uh, import the data import dot uh, numpy import dot pandas dot okay. So do you know files in Python? Uh, yes sir. Uh, there are the two types of files uh, text files and uh, uh, binary files. Binary files written in binary language zeros and ones and text files. Uh, text files uh, we have a special character called uh, eol end of line uh, and if we want uh, next iteration in next next line we use a slash and we use text file okay okay right. okay so uh, that's it from my side i'll let you know the feedback okay? yeah okay thank you